hi there um let me just explain to you royal battle with events is trying to ex help you put together the pieces you've learned and be able to create something so the goal of this lesson is to get you creative tell a story create something out of your imagination and to help you do that we want to be sure that you know how to use the different blocks so look at this for example have daisy the dragon say something when you click run um, so when you click on what should daisy do this is daisy the dragon so you have a say block there so you can decide what she says there are different options here so okay say hello or after saying hi everyone you can say something else so it says something what's new so let's look at it run so hi everyone Ta -ta -da! what's new so basically that block tells your character to say something the goal of this is you can create several characters get them to interact get them to say different things and do different things okay look at this use an event to make daisy the dragon switch to a random mood when you click on her so now you need to get another event events are triggers so when click on daisy this is an event an event triggers something to happen so when you click on daisy what should happen let's change her mood so this is the set mood now you can determine what mood she has so we have this is well indifferent happy scary sad but you can say random so when i click on her she changes to a random mood every time so let's look at it Run. when you click on this oh, now she smiles and her mood basically changes each time you click to something that is not predetermined so now let's look at this night time get the dragon to finish this level add an event so that the knight moves towards the dragon when the left arrow is clicked now we're trying to practice controls how do you control your animation your story your game or whatever it is you're building so this is we know daisy this is daisy this is our knight now we want to make knight to move when the arrow is clicked so we need another trigger but what is our trigger this time the left arrow on your computer keyboard that is the trigger so here is your event when you have the four arrows left up right down so when the left arrow is clicked what do you want to do we want to move knight in what direction in left so here you can actually choose who moves and in what direction it moves so basically you're in control of what happens when you click left so let's look at down. when i click left okay da -da -da. So he moves that's basically that stage and so with that same operation you can actually make your character go up down left or right any direction you want them to go now add an event so the knight runs away from the dragon when you press the right arrow so now we have knight moving left towards the dragon now let's make knight move right so look at this event says when the left arrow is clicked but this one says what when the right arrow is clicked so what should knight do this time knight should move to the right good so let's look at that. so now i can move knight to the left and to the right to the left and to the right that's basically it so you can go touch the dragon or you can run away da -da -da! from the dragon good you can do the same thing for you to go up down and you can determine how your characters interact good so now help your knight to get all of the flags to do this you need to add events to help the knight move up down left and right just like we did already knight can move left and right we still need two directions so knight needs to be able to go up so when the up arrow is clicked you use the move button move knight up and then we add for down whatever you don't program does not happen so if we don't tell it what to do to the down arrow nothing is going to happen when you click on the down arrow on your keyboard so now down good let's see how this works now so when we do this we see that oh so now knight can do touch the green flag touch this flag and also touch this flag hey good so now you've had you've have you have controls for night and make this game fun by adding more things so set the knight to vanish when he runs into the dragon so that's activity one 
so how do we determine when the knight runs into the dragon we need to use the collide event when there's a collision between the knight the dragon and the knight so when the knight and the dragon collide what do we want to do who should vanish the knight should vanish is there any block that says vanish is it vanish knight so when that's the first one so right now when these two collide knight will vanish and what else do we do play a sound when they collide to make it feel more real okay so beyond just the vanishing let's play a sound we could put the sound in between here so what sound do we want it to play um okay let's play hit sound so let's click on that now so when the move when the move, let's see this uh let them let them meet somewhere uh you saw it so that vanished the night as soon as they collided and so the idea is you just go on create your own stories do whatever you want to do and just be creative oh we didn't finish this um but you can feel you I've, i'm sure you get you get the game now you get what you need to do so finish that up and have fun with a royal battle the idea is learn your events and master them